Plague doctor, my patients want to know, what should we do if we're starting to feel sick? Oh, my dear friends, I hope you will not become ill. But in a time of plague, it is always possible. If you do become ill, don't panic, don't be frightened. Stay home, call your doctor if you have questions or concerns. A mild case of coronavirus can be treated at home much as you would a cold, a severe cold or flu. If you're really having trouble breathing, or if you're feeling so exhausted and confused that it's hard to maintain activity, those are signs that you need more serious medical attention. If possible, call your doctor. If it's too urgent or you can't get through, you may need to go directly to an urgent care or emergency room. It's important to go in for care if you've gotten this ill because you may need a treatment. You may need some oxygen. You may need one of the new fangled treatments that your modern scientists have invented. If you're not that terribly ill, but just struggling at home, make sure you are taking good care to support your defenses, what you in modern words call your immune system. Drink plenty of fluids not bodily fluids. In my day, we tried that and it ended badly. Drink water, drink juice if you prefer coffee or tea or milk. Limit the sodas because those sugars can feed the germs. Avoid alcohol because it dehydrates the body and alters your defenses in many ways. Eat healthy foods, vegetables and fruit, rich nutrients. You have so many varieties to choose from in your world. Get sleep, sleep, my friends. It's so easy with all of your devices and constant streams of information to stay awake, glued to the news, glued to the latest development. I promise you, nothing that much will change so quickly while you are recovering. Get the rest your body needs. The more you try to fight through and ignore your body's need for rest, the longer it will take to recover, and the more likely you become to get seriously ill. Get some fresh air and sunlight. If there isn't a place you can safely go out alone, at least be by a window, one that opens if possible. And try not to worry, easy for us to say, but this plague is not so much like the one in my time. Most of you will recover, recover fully and recover without too much harm. If you indulge in cigarettes or other forms of tobacco, please do not, do not use these things while you are ill. It will only prolong the illness. And certainly other more uh, potent substances that you may indulge in when you are ill is not the time. It weakens your defenses terribly. If you wish to boost your body's defenses, I suggest taking zinc up to 50 milligrams three times a day. You can buy it as a supplement or use the throat lozenges as well. For aches and discomforts, Tylenol, acetaminophen, paracetamol, for those of you from across the pond, is your simplest and most effective friend. If Tylenol is not sufficient, you can add in ibuprofen, Motrin or Advil, and you can use pretty much the same cold medicines you would normally use over the counter for similar symptoms with any other illness. 
If you suffer from asthma, be sure to keep up with your asthma care. Take any inhalers or treatments that you normally use each day for prevention and continue those, as well as keeping on hand a rescue inhaler in case the infection should cause your asthma to worsen as well. Again, keep in mind, if you are feeling extraordinarily fatigued, disoriented, or having trouble concentrating and focusing your mind, this may be a sign of low oxygen and it's important to get medical attention. There are newfangled treatments and some of them are rather complex. Some are more available than others right now and some are better proven than others. It depends very much on your exact situation and the phase of the illness which treatments may be beneficial to you. If you have a mild illness and seem to be recovering, it is not necessary to pursue elaborate treatments. But if you have a high risk for having complications, or if you are not recovering as easily as one would hope, please work with your physician to discover which treatments may help you heal the fastest and the most thoroughly. Again, these are general instructions. I am a plague doctor from my time, and in my time, I went from home to home, visiting the sick and tending to their needs. In your time, you have so many options. You may reach your doctors by telephone, on your video screen, in person at an office, in person at an urgent care, or even an emergency department when needed. If you're not sure what to do, you can call your regular physician's office for guidance. Or if you haven't one, there may be a public health hotline in your county or else your nearest emergency department. Again, the plague doctor wishes you all well wishes you safe and wishes you a speedy recovery should you fall ill.